beating a dead horse. But like, check this out. At Quixie, we're like, yes, this is obvious, and yet nobody's talking about it, so let's go like, get some what we call thought leadership about this. So we actually like, started a little campaign and like, got a bunch of other companies to sign up around this whole idea uh, that we call the functional web, and around this initiative that we call App URL. So this is a recent thing. Uh, have, any, have any of you heard of App URL before? Raise your hand. One guy, cool, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, sure, I mean, we had, a, we had a TechCrunch article about it last week, so, um, do you guys read TechCrunch? Raise your hand. Whoa. Okay, in Silicon Valley, a lot of people read TechCrunch. It's the same as a Variety Magazine in LA. <laughs> I don't think we know what that is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, magazines suck, I agree. <laughs> okay, um, so we have this thing called App URL. Um, here's, here's the main idea. Okay, there's two types of links out there. Like, it actually is possible to link to apps today if you use something called a custom URL scheme. A custom URL scheme, it's like, hey, don't put HTTP colon slash slash, put something else colon slash slash, and it can be app specific. So like, as the moment you downloaded the Yelp app onto your phone, uh, if you then go into the browser on your phone and you type Yelp colon slash slash, um, it'll actually take you into the Yelp native app on your phone. Like, this is true now. Yeah, this is true now. Like, go to your phone and 